In this video, we're going to add a SATA to eSATA bracket to a computer so we can connect an external hard drive via eSATA to our computer. So why would you want to use eSATA? Well, in my experience, especially with pro video, pro audio, eSATA is just a much more reliable connection than USB, especially USB 2, which is much faster than USB 2. And in my experience, eSATA is just a better connection, you know, overall for general usage and uh, especially for audio and video. So the things you'll need to do this will of course be an eSATA bracket. Now this is a single, we already actually have a double connected. We have a single here, and this other end here is SATA. This is eSATA right here. And of course you'll need a free SATA port on your motherboard, or two if you're gonna use a double. And in order to connect your hard drive, you of course need an eSATA cable. This is eSATA to eSATA because we'll be plugging into the plate eSATA and then eSATA into the hard drive. All right, so let's go and get started. This is really easy. Pretty much anybody can do this. First, of course, make sure your computer is completely turned off and unplugged from the power supply, which ours is. And of course, you want to ensure you have a free SATA port, which we do. I know it's hard to see, but we have one free SATA port right down there. Okay, next up, you'll need to remove this cover here. Uh, you know, just choose whichever one you wish. And this all depends on how uh, your computer is put together. So mine just uses clips here. Now we have a free slot. Then we'll grab our SATA to eSATA bracket here. Now you can actually use a SATA to say eSATA cable. That would work as well. But we want to use a bracket. All right, so just put this in. It's very easy. Kind of depends on how your computer works. This, this one here just slides in and clips. You can put a screw in there if you want. And right here is our new eSATA port. Like I said, we already have a dual port installed. Next up is to plug the SATA connector from our plate there into a empty SATA port. Now, you want to consult your motherboard manual to see, you know, what kind of uh, SATA ports these are. But uh, we have one free one. It's that red one there. Hopefully you can see it. All right, really, really easy to put in. They'll, they'll only go in one way. All right, you see that groove right there? So just match that up and plug it in. Be careful that you're not unplugging other things on your computer whenever you're reaching in here. Okay, so we'll just plug this in. Once you get it in the port, make sure it's completely pushed down and fully connected. And it is, and that's pretty much it. Now we will reassemble the computer. If you had to unplug anything else in order to reach a SATA port, go ahead and reassemble that now. I unplugged the power for this fan here, so we'll plug that back in. There we go. And then we'll put our computer back together. And now we can plug in our external hard drive to our eSATA bracket. Just plug in your eSATA cable. There we go, it's fully in there. And then plug in the other end of our eSATA cable to the eSATA port of our external hard drive. And of course I have to plug in the power supply as well. And uh, we need to uh, connect all this other stuff. But once we have it all connected, simply turn on your computer. Everything should be recognized. If you're getting any uh, beeps on your BIOS or something, I would disconnect your external hard drive, the one you just plugged in first, restart your computer, make sure everything boots up correctly, and then plug it in again and retry the uh, boot up. But it shouldn't really be a problem. These eSATA brackets usually work absolutely no problem. Just plug them into your motherboard, plug in your eSATA hard drive, everything should come up and be much speedier, especially if you were using USB 2 before that.